So I was just about to start making another skincare review and then I thought to myself, mm, I wanna do something bad for my body instead. And let me tell you about me, honey. I always get what I want. It's candy, I want it, I like it, I get it. I follow a lot of snack food and junk food Instagram. For that reason, I'm always seeing foods and candies and I'm like, I would eat that if I could find it. And so tonight I was struck with the inspiration to visit one of my favorite uh, gourmet grocery stores and pick up a lot of these new items. And so today we're gonna give them all a try, one by one. And I'm gonna keep you in the loop the whole time. What tastes good? What tastes bad? What spikes my blood sugar? What causes my teeth to rot out? You're gonna know the gory details. So stay tuned, because we've got a candy newness taste test at 7-Eleven Hall. Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for a taste test of all the new stuff that you wanna try. Oh man, there's a piece of loose candy in here. That's worrisome, where did that come from? Okay, so one piece of candy in this bunch has been tampered with. Do you like gambling? Do you like watching people ingest poison? Well, <laughs> stay tuned. But first, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see even more candy taste tests like this. I'm gonna show you some of these junk food Instagrams while we're at it, cause I am obsessed, I stand. Oh, but most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button. It looks like that right down here. That way you never miss new videos. I upload new ones every week, like two new ones. Gosh, I'm really, I cannot put a sentence together today. So make sure you click subscribe, hit the notification button if you wanna make sure you always know right when they're hot and fresh, right when the candy is newest on the market. Let me open this bubbly. You guys, I have a new flavor recommendation. She's cherry. Cherry bubbly. It's so good. Okay, so like I'll get on these tangents with Instagram. It's just like snack food pages where they'll be like, oh, I saw this at the store or that's coming out in Canada and it'll be in America soon. And I'm like, what, soon? So I see a lot of things that I'm like, ah, I wish I went to a Target or I wish I went to a store where they had a wide selection of candy so I could try it out. I manifested it. I made it happen for myself. Why are there always things falling on the ground? There is not a single item in my hands that I did not want to try from the internet. Ooh giving me a sneak preview. Okay, so we're about to really, speaking of manifestation, make some dreams come true. This bag was basically telling me to reuse it because it's really thick. Gotta reuse this bag now. Stop giving me, ugh, okay. I did ask for a bag, so I should probably shut up. Anyway, <laughs> let's start with something random. I'll just dive in. Doopy doopy miny mo, catch a tiger by the toe. Look at these flowers I got sent. These are flowers I was given. I just wanted them to all be in the frame. Teeny meeny miny mo, catch a tiger by the toe. Ooh, we got the juicy drop, juicy drop, juicy drop. Now I have tried a juicy drop taffy in the past and I did not like it, so I'm not looking forward to these. It's basically like chewy gummies with a little pocket in them for a sour gel to be torn, to be added. So let's start by opening what the gummies look like. Oh, it's a pretty color, at least the light shining through it. Do you see? Um, there's like a little pocket in there. Maybe if I like these, I can put my blood pressure medication right in there and take it like a dog. So convenient. I could try one of these on their own. They smell great. Mmm, blue raspberry. The Juicy Drop other taffy came with this like sort of pen, which is exactly what we have here. Just a different flavor from what I tried before. That was a strawberry lemonade. So it's like a juicy goo pen. You can just squeeze out a little bit of juice. Isn't that crazy? Kids will eat anything. Ugh, it's all over me now. As a kid, I was never really into any of the liquidy candies, none of the juicy, squeezy-outy things, except for those wax, you know, wax bottle things that everyone loved, but that's more about the wax than the juice. You know, more about the wax than the juice. Okay, anyway, it's a two-part system. Simply take your Juicy Drop pocket and fill it with your blue sludge. Step one, pocket. Step two, Okay, hopefully you saw that. It looks crazy. Looks like a little jelly donut. You know, just how everyone wants. Alrighty, here we go. Juicy Drops, what are these called? Juicy Drops gummies. Chewy gummies. Okay, I like that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ooh, more sour than I thought. The sour gel really packs a sour kick because I think if I ate this on its own, it wouldn't be that sour. Yeah, those gummies are pretty sweet. And then this adds all this sour impact, which is actually pretty cool. I'm into it, as it turns out. Do you want to get a close up? Look at that. Goop, 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 she doop. 
Mm-hmm. It's like it's really sour. I like it. And I guess I've come around to jelly filled things since I was a kid. I like jelly donuts now. I like some other candies that have jelly in the middle. I've learned to love them as my palate has expanded. I love how before I ate that I was all snobby. Like as a kid I did not care for these. And then as soon as the sugar hit my tongue I was like, oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm feeling it. I also love how any pen left, oh, it's called Blue Rebel Sour Gel. Is that supposed to be Star Wars? I'm not into that. Everything that's supposed to be pen shaped has a little clip like you're supposed to put that in your shirt pocket. Like, okay, whatever you say, I'll wear that to work. Cause I've got another one to try. This one is Watermelon Blast. I'm interested in that because it's multicolored. So let's try to open this more thoughtfully. Let me slide my tool out. Yeah, that was easy. I'm crazy, what am I talking about? Let's open her up and see what she looks like. Ooh, these ones are very pretty too. I love the way they glisten with sugar, don't you? Yes, yes, Nicholas, we love it. Put it in my mouth. Are you ready, kids? Let's put that, oh yeah. Now we're getting the watermelon feeling. That's the watermelon sensation you were waiting for. I like that because the color gives me full watermelon. Nope, nope. There's something very dish soap happening there with this gel. Like, I think these things are fine. They taste just like those water, their Sour Patch Kid watermelon shapes. Let me see. Yeah, more or less they're that. But then, nope, that has a weird aftertaste to it. The gummies do. This is, that's bad too. I just don't like the watermelon flavor of this candy very much. It's not as good as the watermelon Sour Patch Kids. It is worse. And it somehow gives me this aromatic, soapy taste. Let's try putting some of the blue on the red, just to cuz. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yup. That works. The sour blue balances out the kind of unusual watermelon taste. But all in all, I would say these are fun because they have interactivity to them. And kids probably love that. But in the age of coronavirus, do I need my kids putting their fingers on more food that's going into their mouth? My kids don't need to be their own prep cook, okay? They have not taken those courses online that tell you how to wash your hands. I also don't have any kids, so I don't... I'm hypothetical, we, you know. <sighs> All right, gang, let's try something a little more substantial. These are dipped pretzels from Reese's. Bite-sized pretzels dipped with peanut butter candy and drizzled with milk chocolate. Salty pretzel, drizzled, dipped. Crunchy, salty pretzels, dipped for delight. A lot of the same words used there. They really want you to know they're crunchy, salty, and dipped, and drizzled. Let's see how drizzled they really are. You better be drizzled beyond my wildest dream Reese's or I'm so out of here. Ooh, these are cute. They look, um, yeah, they look cute. Yeep. Very nice, a very uniform looking product. If you turn to the back, they're coated on the back like those Keebler fudge stripe cookies. But let's try, I'm interested to know what this peanut butter flavored candy coating tastes like. I'm trying to find a way to describe it. It does taste very familiar. It tastes very reminiscent of a Reese's peanut butter cup for sure. But it also gives you a yogurt covered pretzel and a chocolate covered pretzel experience. But there's a distinct layer of peanut butter flavor there that's really good and very distinct to Reese's. Sort of like a Reese's puff cereal, but not cereal flavored, like a, but a better. Like when you get that mixture of the peanut butter and chocolate. Um, it's also a lot like with the crunchy pre salty pretzel in there, it's a lot like those Reese's wafers. Do you remember? It was like a wafer Reese's peanut butter bar. Mm hmm It has very much of that feel because it's got a crunchy, salty component to it. These are very high calorie. Not that anything here isn't, so that's fine. I guess for me, I'm not like a Reese's obsessed person. My sisters both are. They love their Reese's stuff, so they might be more into this than I would be. If you have to choose a, a dipped pretzel snack you and you like Reese's, this is a definitely a good option. They don't purport to be healthy, which is I, in a way refreshing because a lot of those like yogurt dipped pretzels have the same high calories and they're just like health food for you. Road trip. But yeah, I would personally pass on these because I like the yogurt cover pretzels basically more than anything else on earth. I don't care. Let's be random again. Ding. <gasps> Ooh, Laffy Taffy Laugh Bites. I did see these on Instagram and I was like, that's a more convenient way of eating Laffy Taffy, which I need because Laffy Taffy usually comes in these long bars, which is the best way to eat them because you can get the watermelon one, which has a little candy seeds in it. Or you can get the little fun size ones that, you know, we're probably all a little more familiar with that have the jokes on the wrapper hate 
those because you get tons of wrappers and it's embarrassing how many Laffy Taffy wrappers I can accumulate. So these Laugh Bites are in are unwrapped little bites. I don't know if they're actually little bites of Laffy Taffy. A lot of times like Airhead Bites, I thought that was what they were, but like little just Airheads, but they were chewy candies coated with some, some color. It's not the same. But this is different flavors. We've got strawberry, blue raspberry, cherry, sour apple, just a whole fruit bowl of vitamins and nutrients. Oh yeah, she smells good. Ooh, ah, ooh, color, expansion. Do you love the sound of that rattle? Do you love the sound of that rattle? Let's look at the colors in the vid. Ooh, which pill do you choose, the red or the blue? If you choose the red, you have to wear sandals every day for the rest of your life, even outside in the rain. If you choose the blue, your sandals are made of spaghetti for the rest of your life, even if you're not Italian. <laughs> Okay, let's try the blue one first, since I love blue raspberry, and we're already in the blue raspberry mindset from our blue raspberry Juicy Drops gummies. Ooh. Oh. You guys aren't gonna believe this. And it's like I can tell the future. First of all, that doesn't taste very good. I'm sorry to say. Second of all, that's a white center covered in some color. Let me get you a better look. Yeah, right? What? Oh, it's poppable with an extra drop of flavor. They're saying there's a juice drop in here too? What are you kids crazy with your juicy drops? Let's see if we can find that. Oh, maybe a little bit. It doesn't taste like blue raspberry though. It tastes like literally pears and apples. Is this one of those UK candies that's naturally flavored? Naturally and artificial, so whatever. Yeah, that's not good for me. Let's try the strawberry. I think what that is. No, this might be cherry. Yeah, this is cherry. Nope. That's not good either. It's okay, the texture is okay. The flavor is like um, a cherry flavored Dum Dums lollipop, those tiny little baby lollipops you would get, I don't know, at the doctor's office and such. Um, yeah, come on man. These just feel lazy to me. Cause Laffy Taffy is one of my favorite candies and these are just not the same. Give me a little ball and Laffy Taffy. All right, this is chair, no, this is strawberry. I love strawberry. I'm gonna throw it and see if I can not break my tooth. I hesitated because of the tooth thing. Let's try again. Yum. It was dusty. Mm. Mm hmm. I do like the strawberry. That's giving me very. They used to make this strawberry flavored juicy fruit gum. I know, it's a little weird, but you no, know, this. I think it was actually cherry flavored, but I don't know. Either way, it tastes like the juicy fruit gum I used to eat a ton of when I first gave up drinking. I was like chewing gum crazy. Ew. Mm-hmm. This is the only good one so far out of the three I've tried. But I mean, this is the type of candy where they all start to taste the same after a second, so I guess the whole bag will be good eventually, but this is green apple, right? Sour apple. That tastes like a green apple now and later. So if you like that, then you'll like that. But I don't know. This whole candy gets a real big pass for me. You can't find that little drop of extra flavor. It's not. Where? Tell me where, Laffy. Tell me where, Kathy Laffy Taffy, queen of Laffy Taffy. I don't think you can. All right, guys, we still got a good a chunk of stuff left to taste. I might have overdone this. <gasps> have you guys ever had a Twix white chocolate? And if not, what's your problem? Because I've got one right here and you're late. I love Twix, but do I love Twix white? Let's see. I feel like it's gonna look really pretty because like the aesthetic is gonna be all right. Ooh, she's so milky, creamy, white, and thick like a princess. That's really pretty. I'm into that. And I like white chocolate generally, so let's try it out. Mm! Oh my goodness, yes. Mm. Do you like Twix magic? Yum. It's crazy. Twix white chocolate has such a different flavor to it. It almost tastes like Dunkaroos because it's got that creamy white vanilla-y taste with cookie and caramel. So it's giving me like a British tea time taste, almost like a Japanese influence dessert taste, but it's still very Twix. Like the cookie and the caramel is the same as a regular Twix, so you know it's a Twix right when you bite into it. It's very cool. Mm-hmm. These probably do well in other countries too, based on other candies from like abroad that I've eaten. Twix White gets a definite yes from me. Guys, I feel sick. I'm gonna take a little break. I'll see you soon. How come during my break from eating candy, I actually finished the rest of the same candy I purported to hate? That's an issue. So let's jump right back in and keep going. Have you heard of Skittles Bright Side? Me either, but apparently it was like they had a Skittles Dark Side and a Skittles Bright Side. I don't believe that was affiliated with the Star Wars franchise. The flavors are Pink Lemonade, Paradise Fun Punch, Kiwi Banana, Watermelon, Tangerine. Those do sound bright and sunny, don't they? I love Skittles. 
Pink lemonade. Yup, that's a winner. Tastes almost exactly like Crystal Light Pink Lemonade, which I used to love growing up. Still love it now, just don't buy it anymore because artificial sweeteners. Watermelon, that's been a trend throughout these new candies. Yes, got that great artificial watermelon flavor. Paradise Punch. Now, I love a fruit punch flavored candy, but that is definitely a flavor that comes in the purple tropical bag of Skittles as well. I would know it anywhere because I love that one. It tastes like the purple one out of there. Tangerine. It's different from orange. That just tastes like orange to me, but a little less orange, a little sweeter maybe. Finally, kiwi banana. I'm really into banana lately. I like that, but I feel like a lot of people wouldn't like that. If you don't like the banana flavored runts, you wouldn't like that. Now, as I like to do, let's try four different colors at once. Yup, tastes like Skittles. I'm obsessed with Gushers. So when I saw they have them as a candy now, what does that mean? Big bags of Gushers, and these are super sour berry. They're like, yeah, because they sell them as fruit snacks, but they really are just candy. Whoops. Ooh, pretty colors. Let's try one of these blue ones first. Oh, yeah, that's good. It is just like a regular Gushers, but a little more sour. Mm-hmm. That was blueberry grape. Then I had raspberry lemonade. Now I'm gonna have mixed berry. Yeah, they all taste like Gushers. They're actually not that sour, but I do love Gushers, so this is an issue. That they come in such a large size. Oh yeah, the blue raspberry got a sour kick to them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I also had this one, which is like the flavor mixers version, but it says holiday edition and it's got the Star Wars characters on it. And I realized that's the one that's been open, or not been open, but the one that cracked open and candy is falling out of. So I'm not trying to eat candy that's been exposed to it. Normally it wouldn't be such a big deal to me, but coronavirus, have you heard? Now let's finish off with something sweet. I mean cold, it's all been pretty sweet. <laughs> We've got this Sour Patch Kids ice cream bar. It's got a red berry shell, a vanilla, cream center with Sour Patch candy bits in the middle. That sounds awful, right? I'm interested to be surprised. Let's take a look. Wow, weird how they did that. The outside really tastes more like cranberry juice to me. It's very sour. Maybe they're doing the sour than sweet thing because it's like a very sour shell. And then down here is sweet. Mmm, yeah, that area is very, very good. Oh, it's just like the center of a creamsicle, which is one of my favorite ice creams. You cannot taste those Sour Patch candy bits. Maybe a tiny bit, but they're very small. They're not really substantial. Like, it's not like an ice cream mix-in where you're getting chunks that you can chew. It's just sort of lending that taste to the ice cream center. Mm-hmm. It's actually really good. I really like it. The sweet and sour is working together nicely. That familiar orange creamsicle creaminess is very welcome. And the outside candy, I would, or the outside ice pop flavor, I would eat on its own, so that's a good sign. I don't know what, if they could sell it as a red berry or whatever, because what is that? There's the inside look for you scientists. Yeah, I'm into this one. I was not expecting to like that. When I saw it on Instagram, I was like, unnecessary, get it out of here. But now I'm like, okay, they made it a good treat. Other favorites for me tonight include, maybe the bright side Skittles, ooh. I love this white Twix, don't care. These Gushers were good, but you know, they're just Gushers, so. This ice cream bar made it totally worth it, the whole thing though. Just to satisfy the kid in me, let's add some Skittles to this. Yum, that works good, mm-hmm. Wow, I guess I just had to eat that really quick before I could finish this video. Which of these treats would you guys be most excited to try? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very intrigued. When you go to 7-Eleven, what do you pick up first? Also, I've done a lot of taste tests on my channel lately, so I'm gonna switch over back to a lot more product reviews, toy commercial commentary, and that kind of thing. So let me know in the comments below what I should cover. Most importantly though, give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see even more taste tests, cause hey, a girl's gotta eat. Most importantly though, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right down here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload at least two new ones every week. So hit the notification bell if you want to be right in the know. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you for eating so much candy with me today. I will see you next time.